you hear them? What's up, my beautiful nieces and my handsome nephews, divine feminine and divine masculine? Welcome back to the Karmic Circus, where we expose all of these karmic -y ass clowns. Oscar said, What's up? Now, collective. It's somebody out there. This person is angry. They looking for you. Because you ain't there for them no more. They angry. They crying. And they missing you. For some of you, this person came home and you had shook the spot. <laughs> and those of you who haven't left, this person is crying and they're really, really ready and willing to fix it. For somebody out there, this person is angry because you didn't got some sort of money. And while you got money, they sitting somewhere in the dark. Now this could mean their heart could be pitch black. Their mind, their thoughts, their energy could be pitch black. And they're angry. And they're having sexual fantasies about you. Tell them shut the fuck up. See, collective, they're angry because... They didn't know who they had. They didn't see who you were when they had you. So now that you're not doing, you know, now that you're not there for them anymore. Now, you may have still been being intimate with this person. And they thought they was going to do some sex magic on you. But because you take spiritual baths, it didn't work. And they mad. They angry. Because see, for some of you out there, this is this person was using sex magic to manipulate you. Mm -hmm. They was doing doing sex magic to keep you going back and forth. So we're gonna find out. <laughs> you hear him breaking shit? That's because some of y'all, this motherfucker came home and you had left. You had packed all your shit, took the kids, and you out of there. Listen. He looking all in the closets in the drawers. He like, where the fuck did my collective go? He don't know where you at. You ain't there. <laughs> you're not there physically, emotionally. If you're if you're there still living with this person, you're not there for them emotionally. Okay? So this this it don't mean that they looking for you in the house. For some of you, this can mean what's going on in their fucking head. They can't find you. Okay? This is an empty headed motherfucker. Okay? Mm -hmm. This was somebody who was running from you. You're no longer stressed. You're no longer in turmoil behind this person. There was too much turbulence and tension and arguments between you. You walked away from this shit. What's the song? Um, 
I ain't stressing about it. I forgot the I forgot it, but it's a it's a, a little viral thing. I ain't stressing today. And they mad. Cause you ain't thinking about them. <laughs> and your judgment, their judgment is clouded. <laughs> they mad. Tell them be mad. So please, collective, please keep in mind that this reading may trigger you. It may or may not resonate with your energy. So only take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for somebody else. If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let the shit go. All right? They mad because you set some boundaries with them and you didn't want them to. And this was a false twin flame anyway. They was trying to do sex magic on you. Now they sitting in the pitch black. They, this could be their heart. They could be even got their lights turned off or something. For some of you, this is your divine masculine. For others of you, this is a false twin flame. Okay? See, this person, they didn't, they didn't hold value to you. They didn't see the depth of your relationship. They felt like you wasn't important. And here my divine feminine. So this is divine feminine and divine masculine. This is your your divine masculine out here, divine feminine. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He didn't he didn't show no value to you. He didn't see your value. They didn't he didn't know that you was a divine feminine. And if this is the if this is the opposite energy, I mean the roles can't be reversed. So for some of you, divine feminine. Your divine masculine didn't see that you was his divine feminine. And for you divine feminines, I mean the opposite, divine masculine, your divine feminine didn't know, didn't see you for who you were. And now they're ready and willing to fix it. Okay? But this this energy did some sort of sex match. Now, this could also mean that either one of you could have someone that did sex magic on one of you. This could be, this if it's not you, if it's not you, Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine, this is a, could be a karmic energy that's angry. Because maybe you are taking your spiritual bath. Maybe you are healing. And this could be the karmic energy that's pissed off. Okay? That's what it is. Somebody who was trying to be a, a twin flame and they was a false twin flame. Now take it where it resonates. You could have thought there was some chemistry between you and this person. It was a track, attraction, a spark, confirmation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever this person did, you reached your breaking point and you're not there for them anymore and they're pissed off. And this could be a karmic ex, this could be your divine masculine, and this could be your divine feminine. Take it where it resonates. This could be a, a false twin flame. Okay? Whoever this person is, they sitting in pitch black right about now. And they're angry. Why is the collective, um, why weren't they there anymore? Possibly because they wasn't there for you. So you withdrew your energy and you started giving them the same energy that they gave you. So if you're if, if you're dealing with somebody right now and they're angry with you, you give them that same energy back. Okay? Whatever they've been doing to you, if they've been like withdrawing their energy from you, stop putting all your energy into them. Stop letting them stop having sex with them. Tie your head up at night. Get you some evil eye protection. Okay? Tell me more. Yeah, they less than. They're lusting after you and they're angry. So this person is mad because you you don't want to be there for them no more. <clears throat> and they're really they're willing and ready to fix it with you, having sexual fantasies about you, lusting after you. 
Um, and this could be somebody who, in the past, you know, they've doing sex magic. And if you didn't know about spirituality and awakening to people doing manipulation spells, money spells, you know, to have you in a dark negative place, you if you've awakened to this, it's not working, no. It's not working. And this is why you're not there for them if you're taking spiritual baths. Mm -hmm. So you've been awakened. Now this person is sexually fantasizing about you. Tell me more about this person. Tell him shut the fuck up. <laughs> so they 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 mad, they crying, and they listening to love songs, breaking up shit. <laughs> Cause they spell working magic ain't working no more. <laughs> Cause you taking spiritual baths and burning white candles and protecting your energy. Somebody is feeling guilty. Because they probably, they probably getting karma. And this is, if they doing, you know, spell work and money magic and all of this, they know what they doing. And this is why they crying. Because you, it's backfiring on them. This person is getting drunk. <laughs> Last forever, love lasting forever. Backfire. See, yeah, they was trying to do some. They was trying to do some sex magic, spell work and manipulation, and they doing the shit while they drunk. And see, when they didn't see who they had, they didn't know that you was either divine feminine or divine masculine. So you know, evidently, about the spiritual baths and healing yourself and, you know, fighting these, these this spiritual war. And they tried to do some sort of sex magic on you. The sex magic, they could have been wanting you to fantasize about them sexually. But see, if you, if you learn how to, you know, uh, protect your, your sacral chakra... I mean your solar plexus chakra, your sacral chakra. They can't, they can't do no sex magic on you. So for some of you, if this, if this energy haven't hit you, maybe you need to get yourself a carnelian stone to protect your sexual chakras, your uh, sacral chakra, which is for the sexual creativity and all of that. Okay. So yeah, some of you may need to get uh, a carnelian stone. Yeah, this person is smoking weed and they getting drunk, listening to love songs. <laughs> and they mad. Like, that's the crazy thing. Why are you going to be mad? Because the collective reached their breaking point with you and because they're not there for you anymore. They trying to curse you because they angry. Well, we return to sender. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I return every curse, every spell work, magic, sex magic. We return it to sender right now, 10,000 fold. We are protected. Put it in the comments. You are protected. You are chosen. No spell work works on you. Someone is feeling like their head is spinning out of control. The devil energy. Yeah, so this could be a Capricorn energy doing this sex magic. Black magic is out here twice. Spell work. Sex magic. Whoever this person is, the shift and backfire. And they mad. They mad because the spell work ain't working. And they crying 
because the shit is being returned to sender. <laughs> now, if this ain't your person sending those no curses to, towards you. This could be their uh, their ex, or this could be your ex. Okay, if you're in a relationship with somebody, it don't have to be your person throwing this. This could be their ex, or this could be your ex throwing this shit. Okay, take it where it resonates. Somebody is drunk, smoking weed, and listening to love songs, thinking about you, and mad. All of them emotions. This person is just all over the fucking place. They, the devil is here. They want you to be, you know, trapped towards them. The energy changes when you're around. So this divine feminine came in reverse. So divine feminine, you out here and this, whoever this Capricorn energy is. Somebody that your person possibly was dealing with is doing some sort of magic towards you so I need for you to burn white candles and this is something you're gonna have to continue to do you can't do it and think it's over no because these motherfuckers is out here constantly attacking you so when you run out of candles you gotta go and burn some more baby 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 you gotta continue to burn these white candles I just took mines out I burned three one for the Father, one for the Son, and one for the Holy Spirit. So, this is this this could be your ex throwing. This could be somebody who you recently broke up with, or this could be their ex, somebody they broke up with before they got with you. That's throwing this shit. Somebody is having a whoever it is. Like I said, it could be your person not there for them anymore, and this could be them angry, or you could be not there for your person, and they're angry. Whoever the fuck it is, they mad and they can't find you. Or you can't find them or they can't find us. Okay? Yeah, they restricted. Grandbabies bake some cookies. So you know they're good and soft as soon as they come out of the oven. Now, somebody could be feeling guilty for trying to send all this shit towards you. Because you blocked them, they mad. Shit backfiring. Tell them shut the fuck up. I can't hold this reading too long. If you see my community board, my grandbabies are all here with me. Um, I have six grandbabies here with me. And we've been playing games and everything, so now they want to play Twister. I told them I can't play Twister with y'all. Granny can't get down. My knees is, is, is bad now. So, if this reading resonated with your energy, go ahead and hit that thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out.